Welcome to this short introduction guide to the project management add-ons for Microsoft Dynamics 365 for project service automation. In this video, we will be looking at the Project Gantt add-on, which was specifically designed to extend the standard functionality of Microsoft Dynamics 365 for project service automation. The idea behind the Project Gantt add-on is to provide a tool for project managers to plan and control project execution. The application allows you to control and monitor multiple projects simultaneously in the same view. Gantt charts offer a visual representation of the projects and support inline editing, allowing you to make changes instantly. To open Project Gantt, navigate to the Project Service area in the top menu and select Project Gantt in the drop-down menu. Start off by loading projects into the application. Do so by using the filter functionality. Select one or multiple records and confirm with Add button. Hit the Refresh button to load the data into the application. On the left, you can see a table view of the project structure. This view allows you to develop and control project structures as well as monitor the progress of the project or specific tasks when switching to the controlling mode. On the right-hand side, you get a graphical view of the projects, the Gantt chart. The chart supports inline editing, drag and drop, the creation of dependencies between tasks, and much more. With the Expand All button, the complete project structure can be displayed at once. Click it for a more detailed view of the project phases, tasks, assignments, and dependencies. To add a new project, select the desired account and open the context menu with a right click. The initial project form only requires a project name and project manager assigned. However, you may also add basic project information. To add a project task to an existing project, simply select the project, open the context menu with a right click, and select the Add Child Task option. You will see a pop-up form with pre-filled project information, which may be edited. Click OK to confirm. The next step in project planning is assigning a resource to the project task. To do so, select the task and open the context menu with a right click. Select the Resources option. You now see a list of all resources assigned. If there aren't any, you will see a blank form. Use the New button in the lower left corner of the form to assign a resource. In the pop-up window, fill in all required information and confirm the creation by clicking OK. At the end, it is necessary to save all project changes using the Save button in the top menu. Thank you for your attention. If you have any questions regarding the project management add-ons for Microsoft Dynamics 365 for project service automation, watch other videos in this series or contact our specialists.